on James Bond. Right? Yeah. Wines here are either all f***ed up. <laughs> Did your dad walk by? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's amazing. I love that. We had a squirrel in here. Started eating it out of his car. Oh my god. Oh. So three out, three of, out of four. Three out of four wheel wells. Are, are like this. Like look at this one. You can it, see like the little tooth marks in there. Dude, it's I had that squirrel. I know the damage. Right. They, they did my old door frame. Dude, that's insane. I know. So it was in here for two days without us knowing. Do you have any footage from the camera? We do. We do. Oh. We, yeah, we have the, the security camera. Oh my god. We've spent the last 25 years building a business together. Now we're building the ultimate driving collection. All while having fun with family. And maybe kicking a bush or two along the way. Hi, Jay. Hey, what's up? So, if you guys didn't see last week's video, it was probably one of the most epic, fun videos that I've ever done. So we had the Bugatti, the Bugatti Super Sport, and the LaFerrari, all being chased by Roman's helicopter. And Roman's a good pilot. I don't know if I'd go up with him, but uh, Bryce? I went up with him. It was, it was a blast, but that was maybe one of the funnest things we've ever done. Well, I have a little bit of a fear of helicopters, even though it's like the coolest entrance you could ever make. And we went out there and you guys made it in 13 minutes. It took us 45, 50 minutes. Oh, longer minutes. than that, yeah. How could they miss that? No, new bestie Roman. Roman, thank you for chasing us. And then we've got something very important to tell you. We are gonna be doing Snapchat. We're gonna be showing you kind of more of an inside look into our everyday lives. We're just gonna be snap, 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 snapping all day. So make sure that you check out our snaps. This is our beautiful page. So thank you guys for helping us get to 400,000. It wasn't too long ago, we hit 200,000. We gave away a Disney trip. They went to Disney, they had a great time. Let's see what they have to say. Thank you, Jordan and Jason, so much for this amazing trip to Disney and the entire Triple Left collection. We are extremely grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I love Disney so much. But most importantly today, we had an intruder in the garage and had some damage done to a car. So, oh, not a good day. Not a good day. Okay, so I'm headed over to the garage. I just got a weird call from security. Saying that there's been an intruder in the garage and they need a little bit of help. We're gonna see if we can catch this intruder that's hiding in here. No, like that's the Hi there. You find the little guy? On camera, like before I came in, yes. How, what do you mean on, on one of these cameras? Where, what did he do? He said there was some damage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's been tearing up those blinds, right? Oh my gosh. And then he jumped. <laughs> okay, so he's in here somewhere? Gosh, where would he be? Hopefully he didn't get in the gun. I mean, if I was in here, I wouldn't be trying to leave. Okay, there's a squirrel in here somewhere. I don't know where he is, but we're gonna keep looking. Look at those look like little paw prints, don't they? Oh my gosh. He's just chilling, checking everything out. I wonder if he got in somewhere weird. Take a nap. How do you call a squirrel? Squirrel. Look at this. Look at you shoot it up. Glad this wasn't one of the other cars. Look at that. The squirrel's in here somewhere, so they have it on video from the security cameras. We cannot find him. Climbed all over the Mercedes and tried to jump out the window. So maybe he's gone. He's gonna like jump out at us somewhere, you know? It's gonna yeah. be like family Christmas where it jumps <laughs> out of the tree. God, I hope he didn't chew up on any more cars. I can't believe he ate one of the cars. I shouldn't say no evidence, but we haven't been able to find this uh, squirrel intruder. So we're gonna keep on looking a little bit. Hopefully he left. I mean, there's not many places to hide for a squirrel here. He definitely did some damage. Fortunately, it was not to one of the hypercars. So he's been on the Nevera, which isn't very nice. And he's also been on the LaFerrari, which kind of upsets me. I mean, this guy was all over a heavy fun. But look at, this is the worst. The um, Mercedes GTR Roadster. Looked like it was his favorite. He jumped from the car over here, tried to get out. So I guess he was smart trying to get out. He knew that was the window. Look what this little jerk did. He chewed up around the wheel wells. I mean, look at that. And the bizarre thing is that he did it around every wheel well. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, he just chewed the shit out of this. Like, what was this dude trying to do? And he's, yeah, gosh, he went freaking right through it. You can see all the debris right here. Gosh, she was going to town on this thing. Well, it's Jordan's car, I better call Jordan. All the windows are open, I don't know if I should close all these windows. I mean, you saw he chewed right through the body of the 
wheel well, so like think of what he could do to the interior. Demolish it. I really don't see anything anywhere. I mean, we've checked everywhere that this thing could be hiding. Hey, dude. What's wrong? Um, a little squirrel got in here. A squirrely? A squirrely. Oh, is it doing damage? Uh, it did damage to your GTR. No. Yep. What do you mean? I'm gonna show you here. What damage did it do to the GTR? Look at all the shavings on the ground. Look, look how much he chewed through. Can you see that? Oh, oh my God, what is that? Yeah, what the f is that part? Is that the car? Yeah. Oh my God, dude, we're gonna have to do you realize that's going to cost us many thousands of dollars? Yeah, it it it's all four. Are you serious? Now the other look. Okay, yeah, this one's. Look at this mother. Look how much wow. he ate through that. Dude, they are so all that so destructive. Ha have you have you shown dad? No. He jumped from the. Oh my god, is that broken? Oh my god, Jay, dude. Can you believe oh my that? God. Well, oh shoot! You know it got up here. I wonder if it jumped off of the uh, Pagani. Ari will know. Oh my God! Ari, Look at this. Did he shit on the Pagani? Yeah. Oh my. Can God. you see that or not? Dude. He took a big on the floating roof scoop. Look at the laugh on top. Oh. Dude. This is like. Oh look, you can see it on the on the window too. Okay, we've had another squirrel sighting, right, Dad? That's it. You believe this? Huh? Yeah, it's. We think, it we think that it's underneath the car still. Oh my God. To get out. When we get the window. <laughs> Nothing came out. How can a little squirrel do that? You know, we've been talking for a while about your huge gaps in your garage doors, right? This is what, this is what, this is gonna cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. You gotta be and that's like, this one's the worst right here. Look at this one, Dad. Like it chewed off all the... Oh my God. Oh shoot. Oh my God, dude. What happened? You wouldn't do this to me. I'm just joking. Don't do that. Okay, I'm sorry. That's me. It looks like it's been in here since Friday. I'm gonna find it. No, it's driving me nuts. Why is he showing his nasty face? He's back in here somewhere, so we gotta find him. All right, let's move out the LaFerrari and see if we can see him. Keep an eye out. Okay, we've got the Nevera and the LaFerrari out. We still don't see this guy. We keep on moving him out till we can find him. Oh, I, I just saw a squirrel run. I think we might've found him. Okay, I just saw a squirrel run out. We don't see him now, but that has to be our culprit here. Oh yeah, there he is. Ooh, he was way down there. Yeah, we got him. I just saw him running down there. Yeah, the squirrel down there. Yeah, that has to be him, don't you think? Well, I was thinking it was. I tried to run it over. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, it looks like we got our squirrel out of there after clearing all of the cars out. Okay, now we got to put all the cars back. That is always fun. All right, I think we're good to put him back in because I saw him in the grass earlier. Like right before you came up, I saw him here and then you saw him down there. I have not seen any other squirrels, so that's got to be our guy. I'm going to try to put these guys back in. So we're going to F1 tomorrow. I'm all ready. Jordan, of course, is last minute. He's got to run his kids around. So I'll give him some grace here, but let's, we're going to go check it out. He said he was getting packed up and ready, so we're going to call him out. First, I got to decide what car. I feel like we've taken the Bugattis out quite a bit. You guys are sick of seeing the Bugattis, I bet. See, I like to do it for you, whatever you guys want to see. Well, we haven't showed this lately, too. This is so beautiful. The noise is too. You gotta ride with me. So Pagani first. Let's do Pagani first and get ready for F1, baby. The flaps in the front are my favorite thing when you're slowing down and the act is in the air brake. <laughs> she pulled out quick. Locked in, good and comfortable, and then using your linkage. <laughs> I love the linkage. You know, this car is not the most fun at the drag strip because it just doesn't have that air acceleration, but it might be the most fun car to drive around just off the street. It sounds so good, it sounds raw, and it's got enough acceleration just to be on a, a normal road. All right, let's go check out Jordan. Oh, it sounds like you're getting shot at. <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous. It's gotta look so crazy just coming down the street if you see one of these randomly. I mean, and this is a fun single clutch transmission. You know, some of them are just way too jerky and raw, but this is like perfect. so fast on like a regular road and even you know Horatio says it's more about the emotion and the just the feeling you get when you drive it. How many times do you do this? Uh, Accidentally? A lot. Yeah you gotta get the um, air brakes going on that. Okay let's not hurt it. Let's go get him. 
gosh, it's a pretty car. I know, we haven't shown it a lot. No, it's got so much going on from the back too with that floating roof scoop, the wing, the just, diffuser. I like the stance. This too. is my, it's like a coach on the sideline, you know, getting ready for the play. <laughs> That's exactly right. Oh, well, there he is. Are you ready to go? Look at this guy. He's all packed up. You know we have to like share a, like yeah. an SUV to get there. Th this is it. Oh, you brought the light up bag? Dude, I'm not bringing all this. This is to pick which one I want to bring. Oh my God. You thought this was serious? No way. I'm like, why, why don't you just use a suitcase? He looked immediately pissed. Like, you know we have to share, right? Look Gosh. how many duffels this guy has. I don't know what duffel I want. You, you have more duffels than I do, for sure. I'm not admitting that. <laughs> Nick, oh, look at, he's not even helping like, carry. He's got a duffel. Oh, that's sweet. I haven't seen that one. Oh, look, you think this is just an ordinary Louis bag, right? I do. To the untrained eye, this would be an ordinary Louis bag. I'm trained. Oh, that's sick. Change his color. <laughs> Isn't that cool? This is like the racing one. That's the one. racing one. So right. you have to be racing. Okay, so, ra so racing in Vegas. So this is Vegasy, and this is racy. I know Ashley wants to bring this one. He's cleaning the car. Are you a little detailer? Good job, dude. Look, we don't even need Ben anymore. Oh, also, an, an update for the garage here. I've decided to take two spots and make it like a complete, like almost like a man cave, big screen viewing area, like for sports and stuff. But you never invited me over to watch the game. You go to the game. games. No, nope, not all of them. I don't go to away games. You would never come over for NFL games. How do you know? Dude, I know you. Are, are, are we selling these? We're just, we just don't have the time. Like we always, look, we have good intentions. We do it. We want to do it. We get excited. We went out there to thermal. We had the Solus GT stuff. Oh, wow. Let's get a whole race team set up. Five hundred thousand dollars between all of it, cars and truck and trailer. Okay. Will you make your money back on something like this? Close, Neg negligible. You know the other reason for me is like my back is so messed up now. Like I'm thinking I might have to have surgery. So like I don't, I can't do any spin outs on the track or risk that. I'm getting too old. Well, just that all the jostling around and slamming on the brakes. I bet that would just be awful for your back. 